Tony, how are you? Great, how are you? Fantastic. Cheers. You're somewhat of a legend these days, my man. You know, I'm just a regular guy, blue collar, Cleveland, born and bred. Walk me through when you first see the video. You know, some guy wanted to run my name through the mud, took a bunch of pictures of me, and uh, didn't realize that I'm an actual hardworking person from Cleveland. I mean, we're sitting here drinking wine in the back of Lago, which is, I, I think, something that you normally do. But other than this, how has your life changed? It's not changed. I'm still that same guy from Cleveland that's going to go to all the games and have a blast. I don't want any fame or care about any of it. Tell me about how many games you've been to for how many years because it's astounding. So now it's a tradition. Now it's mandatory to do this. I started this with my ex-fiance. So we go to all 17 games. I'm let's, let's go bananas. We're going to get two puppies, get into a house, live together, and, and um, go to all 17 games. What do you think? She's like, let's do it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> let's stop the story for a second. You're going to get two puppies a house and go to 17 games? That feels like a lot of commitments at one time. Yep, if your credit score high enough, you can do anything you want. Goddamn right, I like that. <laughs> you go to kayak, once the season drops, you slam out four or five flights because that's all you need to fly to. The rest is easy peasy. You drive, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Baltimore, whatever else, Detroit, which I thought we were going to Buffalo. Was I gonna drive through a blizzard and have to walk if I had to the rest of the way to the stadium? Yes, yes of course. No biggie. Yeah. So you are now a recognizable person you are going to be going to away stadiums, people are gonna see you. How do you expect to be received? With love, just the way I come to their stadiums. The specific rivalries like Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati. Still great cities. Baltimore, best seafood, I mean, it's, it's right on the water. And if so. you don't get stabbed in the face, you win. What's your favorite city you've been to outside of Cleveland? Well, I'm gonna couple that with uh, the coolest stadium, and I'm gonna shock you a little bit, but that Jets stadium, Really? Kind of a cool stadium. Flew there from Aruba, had to call my travel agent. I said, hey, Monday Night Football with Baker Mayfield's in uh, New York. Thank you, you might be the most interesting person on earth. You flew to that game from Aruba and just glossed right over that fact. My, like flight, my travel agent had me booked to go back to Cleveland. I said, no, I need you to switch it. Do you have a shit ton of uh, freaking flyer miles? No, I have a shit ton of debt. This, this season's going off the rails, obviously, but you're still going to the game today. You're gonna to go to every game anyway. It doesn't matter. Once you start a journey, you finish a journey, and that's a Cleveland thing. Damn right, you're a man of honor. It's the only choice I got. I think we should slap the bag before we get out of here. I mean, if you get wine in the Garrett jersey, I'm gonna be really sad. <laughs> you slap it, and then you, you suckle it. I can suckle. All right, give it a slap. There it is. All right, come here. Get in close, suckle that boy. Ooh, did you ooh, get any? Ooh. Oh yeah, you did. Ooh. That's not good wine. Jay, hey, everything. keep representing the Browns. I have no choice.